a majority of our life is spent at work. And actually, Piaget said that in childhood, our work is play. And so when we're children, we play with this kind of tireless vigor. But once school begins, we're introduced to the concept of doing things we don't necessarily want to do. Now, there's a saying that floats around, and I used to hear it in the hospital a lot. No one gets to the end of their life and says, I wish I'd spent more time at the office. And there's much truth to this. Many of us have a tendency to overdo work. Work is something that's best when it's balanced with the other ingredients of life. Too much work is bad, but on the other hand, no one gets to the end of their life and says, I wish I'd spent more time on unemployment. Work, the availability of work, and the health and the opportunity to do it are a blessing. I want to share with you an experience that I had while working at home. What happened was that our family had moved from northern New England to Kentucky. And one of the first things my wife did was to plant a garden. And uh, what we found was that gardening is really different in Kentucky than it is in northern New England. By July, we've already harvested a bunch of crops. And Nancy said, well, let's plant some more and we can get some more things to grow before uh, the frost comes. And that's what we did. We spent a day clearing the tendrils. We planted new uh, plants. And in the evening, I went out and I watered the garden. And something wonderful happened. I was just watering and the water formed in a footprint of my wife in the ground. It was like a little lake and it reflected the setting sun in the evening. And I had what is referred to as a God moment. These are difficult to explain. They don't occur often. They're the moments when we feel closest to God. And sometimes they're accompanied with a particular insight. I saw the sky reflected in the footprint and it was sheer beauty. And I was transported back to the Garden of Eden. I believe I understood what it was like for God to walk in the cool of the evening with Adam and Eve. What a pleasure it must have been. You see, we had work even before the fall. And it must have been thrilling to share the results of that work with our Maker. As Americans, I'd say that we're blessed with a lot of great work. And we love efficiency. If you stand the average American in a line in the developing world, they're busy in their heads, redesigning the entire system for more efficiency. In fact, I think sometimes we overdo this. There's more to life than just how fast we can get through it. Work is a blessing. And the first work that we were assigned in Genesis 2 was to be gardeners, men and women together, protecting and serving the earth. This mandate exists whether or not we're tilling the soil or we're shopping in the mall or we're in the grocery store. As gardeners, we're involved in a multi-generational project.